going to say something to me. But they can't come back from this one because they don't know how to talk facts. I told y'all, this media machine they got, they think y'all stupid. And they've done it for so long where they never had to challenge any one talking point. They just defamed the person. And LeVar Ball, Lamar, what is your name? LeVar Ball, the daddy of the ball boys, kudos to you, sir. Because you don't understand how important that you are. Because, see, they want to tear down your black sons right away. And they tricking people to think you crazy, too. See, niggas been tearing down niggas for forever. Y'all white folks been saying this man is crazy from the beginning. Why is he crazy? Because he wants y'all to talk to his sons about a shoe deal, a partnership, instead of just running to Nike? That make him crazy? Because he thinks his sons are very good basketball players, and he talk about it, and he manifests that out of his mouth? That make him crazy? This man got two and a half kids in professional basketball. Matter of fact, three. And he crazy. And y'all still think that the media is y'all friend. Y'all still think I'm wrong. As soon as a black man try to go out independent, a white zaddy, and create a shoe company, a chip brand, or anything, they run these ads to defame these guys, and y'all help and join in with it. Yeah, it ain't Nike, my nigga. She is. It ain't no motherfucking Nike. She, if Jordan leave Nike, y'all won't even leave with him. That's how brainwash y'all are. Y'all don't love Jordan. You love the people who validate Jordan. Because you guys find validation through white people. It ain't good enough until a white person says good enough. That's why you keep worried about what white people are doing. But I'm crazy, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching niggas with more money than the law allow stand in the street with their fists up. Niggas, put your arm down, sit your ass down. What is it that you're trying to get accomplished? Because, nigga, you got all this shit right now that you can do it. I don't understand. But I, the reason why I shouted out LeVar Ball is because a father is a protector and a provider. And see, me going to the NBA as a young man, I didn't have that protector. I didn't have that somebody that could say, hold on, bitch, this is my motherfucking son. And see, LeVar Ball, he take the heat for his boys. See, he let his boys be quiet. And he go up there and cuss their ass out and tell them, what? you stay in your lane. You stay in your place because he a man. He didn't let his boys take that heat. He took it. Yeah. And so what did the media start doing? Oh, uh, uh, we wonder if his kids can talk, trying to fuck his family structure up. He didn't let his boys talk. He is a controlling figure. Hey, y'all two young men, don't y'all fall for that shit. Y'all wouldn't be shit without y'all. Well, I ain't going to say that because a disrespectful nigga said that. I don't think you guys will be the men that you are today without your father. Not without your mother either, but I'm telling you, without your father's passion and the drive, matter of fact, the combination of the two, but definitely your father's passion and the drive that he had for you guys and the belief and the will to not let you motherfuckers quit. That's the reason why y'all are today. Y'all some kings. Y'all a true representation of what a family structure is supposed to look like. Y'all ain't out begging. Y'all ain't out whining. Y'all got three strong lions, two in the NBA, and one is still playing pro. I salute y'all whole fucking family. See, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. You see, the Steph Curry's of the world, his daddy had that boy, him and his brother. I remember him when he was barely could get the ball over the goddamn rim. And look at that young man now. You go, my nigga, salute. Salute to your mama. Salute to your daddy for staying together. We don't know what they went through. They stayed together and raised two young lions. That's how you break a generational curse. You ain't going to break it by standing next to white people jumping up and down, shouting in no motherfucking street. I can bet you that. That's been happening for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years. Still think I'm crazy? <laughs> Y'all have a nice day. Stephen A., you a bitch. But thank you for starting this shit. Hey, white folks, 
some white folks. The same little yard dog y'all released on me. <laughs> that same little yard dog y'all released on me. He the reason why I'm finna come back and release my mama's cooking on y'all. <laughs> See you bitches.